Okay. Uh, today I watched Joss Whedon's uh, Unlocked video. And as a student parent, I was a little shocked. I was uh, kind of scared for other student parents out there because he implied that you can't go to school and be pregnant or be a parent. Um, so I wanted to share my story with you all. Um, I found out I was pregnant when I was 17. I was in high school, uh, senior year, and I was really, really scared. I think everyone, um, everyone assumes that, you know, it's a scary time to see that positive pregnancy test. And it is, and it's more scary than a lot of people know, um, being young and being pregnant because you have so much of your future ahead of you and you don't know exactly <laughs> how that's going to work being pregnant. Um, and so I had a lot of what ifs and I didn't know, I didn't know what to do, but I found the most support actually, um, in the pro-life community. My parents were pro-life. They were very supportive. My school was very pro-life. Um, they were very, very supportive. Uh, we looked at all of my options and made a plan. And every single person in my life told me, you do not have to sacrifice your dreams just because you're pregnant. In fact, you're going to create more dreams and um, achieve more dreams because you're pregnant. Um, and so we made a plan for college and I started college while I was still pregnant. I had my daughter my freshman year of school. Um, and unlike the video, I had scholarships and I used them and I kept them um, because that's obviously an option. Um, and I was, I succeeded. Um, I actually just graduated on Saturday with my undergraduate degree. Um, in three years, I completed my undergrad degree. And not only did I complete my undergrad degree with having one kid my first semester, but I actually just had another son, another, another kid, my son, um, my last semester of school, just about eight weeks ago. Um, and so I, I want to, I want to be someone um, on your computer screen today telling you that if you're pregnant or if you become pregnant, you don't have to stop going to school. Um, you don't have to sacrifice any dreams at all. And you're going to succeed and you're going to achieve your dreams and it's going to be that much better with a little kiddo by your side. <laughs> um, so um, that was the reaction number one. I didn't consider abortion. Um, I had been pro-life my whole life. Um, and as it was scary, it was really scary. And I, I wanted to run away. I never considered abortion, but, um, I, I knew that choosing love and choosing life was the best option for me. It was the best option for everyone because to accept that into your heart, to accept that love into your heart is only going to make your life better. Um, what was it like to go to school while being pregnant or parenting? <laughs> school being pregnant is really hard, uh, especially this last semester because I was full-time on campus. Um, because you're tired and you have to go to the bathroom a lot and it's hard to fit in the desks. That's all really hard. Um, but I found an incredible support system at my school. Um, I was honest with the teachers. I was upfront with them and they really helped me. They helped me get through the semester. Um, and so it was hard, but it was also pretty rewarding. Um, kind of felt like a superhero being able to do everything that I wanted to do. Um, and grow a baby. <laughs> that was cool. Um, and being a parent in school has, um, has its challenges as well. My daughter um, has chronic ear infections, so very frequently I'm running out of class to pick her up from daycare, or I'm bringing her to class because she has a fever. Um, I actually took finals last semester with her sitting on my lap. And so it brings a lot of, it brings a lot of challenges and a lot of um, how are we going to make this work? But if you're honest and if you're up front, professors are great and they like kids, most of them, <laughs> mine did. Um, so you just have to work hard. You know, everybody has something, um, whether it's, you know, uh, a, a family member dies during a semester or, you know, you 
you slip grade wise um, because of an illness. Everybody has something. And just because you're pregnant or just because you're a parent doesn't mean you have to sacrifice one thing for the other. Um, you just have to kind of work it out. And, and if you want it bad enough, it's going to happen. You know, you just have to, <laughs> you have to find a team that supports you and run with it.